Hello witches, wizards, and those who are yet to receive their Hogwarts score letters, welcome to my Harry Potter kitchen. This is the YouTube series where I'm baking my way through the Harry Potter books, making recipes for every item of food and drink that we find inside. If you missed last week's recipe where we made a Harry Potter butterbeer milkshake, then make sure you check out the link down below in the description to catch up. And if it's your first time in the kitchen and you want to see some more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell, then you'll get an alert every Magic Monday when there is a brand new Harry Potter recipe. Speaking of which, it is Magic Monday, so let's head back into the chamber. So let's head back into chapter six, Gilderoy Lockhart, to find out what's next. So after breakfast, Ron receives a red letter and he's looking a little bit nervous. Neville explains that it's a howler and then suddenly it bursts out with the voice of Mrs. Weasley yelling at him for the car incident. So now he's a little bit embarrassed and on his best behavior as they head down to Herbology. Professor Sprout introduces them to Mandrakes, which I feel like they're gonna be a little bit more relevant later in the books. But for now, they're just repotting them as they are little baby Mandrakes. Next in the afternoon, they have Defense Against the Dark Arts with Gilda Roy Lockhart and he has set them a quiz on their first day but not to worry it's a bit of a fake quiz and all of the questions are about him and his favorite things and that's where I can see our next recipe I wouldn't say no to a large bottle of Ogden's old fire whiskey that sounds like a cue for another Harry Potter cocktail if you'd like to create your own Harry Potter inspired fire whiskey then all of the ingredients you need along with the measurements and instructions are on my website bradleybakes.co.uk. The link is down below in the description. So today we're going to be making a recipe for the Wizarding World famous fire whiskey and of course for this one the base of our recipe is going to be whiskey. Whiskey is a world famous spirit and wherever you find it sometimes it has different spellings. Some people end it with KY and some with KEY and that's usually based on where it originates from. KY is from the Scottish distilleries and KEY from the Irish distilleries which also made their way over to America. They have loads of different distilling techniques but they do take months if not years to get that bottle of whiskey that you're used to so I'm not going to take you through the full process today but I am going to show you how we can take a standard whiskey and add a little bit of magical fire to it and then afterwards I'm going to show you how to make the perfect fire whiskey cocktail. First up we need to infuse the flavour into our whiskey and I found these incredible bottles which kind of look like flames so that's what we're going to use. We're going to fill that with our flavourings and then leave it to mature to bring out the fire flavour. Flavouring your spirits is really easy and if you've ever been to university or college, you've probably done it yourself before. All you need to do is chop up your flavourings, so I'm slicing my chilies in half to help bring out some of that flavour and pop those into your bottles. I'm also using cinnamon for this one as that's going to give us both the sweetness and the spice. All you need to do next is fill up your bottle with your spirit of choice and of course we're using whiskey. Seal it tightly, preferably with an airtight seal and then you can leave that to infuse. I like to leave it for at least a month to make sure you get as much flavour out of it as possible. Don't worry though, even though there are fresh chilies in this, the alcohol will preserve it so you don't have to worry about it going off. Feel free to tailor how long you mature it for to suit your taste. You can always try a little bit and if you want to bring out even more of that chilli and cinnamon, just leave it for a little while longer. So it has been about a month, you may have noticed my hair has grown out a little bit more and our fire whiskey has had a lot of time to mature. So now we need to do the all important taste test just to make sure the chilli and cinnamon flavour has come out lovely and then we're going to take those out because we don't want it to over flavour our whiskey. Once it's good to go I'm going to re-bottle it and then it is going to sit on my bar until I'm ready to drink it. Once you're happy with the flavour of your fire whiskey, you want to get yourself a jug and a sieve and then carefully pour out your whiskey, catching the cinnamon and chilli. You can then also rinse out your bottle just in case any sediment has settled at the bottom and then we're going to fill that back up with our whiskey, seal it and then this will last for a very, very long time because alcohol does not go off. So I'm super happy with how my fire whiskey has turned out. It's got quite a kick to it. So if you're not such a fan of spice, remember to take out the chilies a little bit earlier. Okay, next I'm gonna show you how you can use your fire whiskey. Of course, you can just drink it neat or over ice, but I like to serve it up inside a cocktail. So we're gonna create a My Harry Potter Kitchen original cocktail. And this one is called a spicy 
pumpkin. Now for this one, you are gonna need some pumpkin juice, which we made earlier on in the series. So I'll leave the link down below for that if you want to catch up. And then we're gonna heat up some sugar syrup as well. Now I've kept my chilies from the fire whiskey because I'm gonna use that to infuse my syrup. But again, if you don't want it as spicy, just take the chilies out. We're gonna use our syrup, our juices, and some more ingredients, shake that all together into the perfect cocktail. And then you have yourself a mighty fine nightcap. To make your simple sugar syrup, you need to add equal parts of sugar and water into a pan. Add in your chilies, swirl it around and allow it to keep on heating until it starts to bubble. You can then turn off the heat and allow it to cool. Remove the chilies and then pop that into a bottle so it's easy to use later. This will keep in the fridge for three to four days. To assemble our spicy pumpkin cocktail, I've got myself a cocktail shaker and filled it up with ice. You then want to add in all of your ingredients. So that's our fire whiskey, pumpkin juice, some freshly squeezed lemon juice, our chili syrup, and a few dashes of our Angostura bitters. Place your lid tightly on top and then give that a good shake. You want to keep on going for about 30 seconds and you'll know it's ready when the top of your shaker has nicely frosted up and leaves a trail when you swipe your finger along. You can then get yourself the glass that you're going to serve it in, fill this with ice too, and then pour your spicy pumpkin over the top. Again, I've used some of my chili and cinnamon to finish as a garnish, and then this Harry Potter kitchen cocktail is good to go. So there you go, our spicy pumpkin cocktail using our homemade fire whiskey is complete and I cannot wait to tuck in. As I mentioned, it's an incredibly versatile spirit, so you can drink it neat or shake it up into your favourite cocktail. So let me know down below in the comments, how do you prefer to drink your fire whiskey? That's all for this week's recipe, but if you want to see more from my Harry Potter kitchen, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click on the notification bell, then you'll get an alert every Magic Monday when there is a brand new recipe. I need to drink up before the bar closes, so I'll see you next time. Cheers.